My good buddy Alex Stevens gave me a call and he's like, bro, my neighbor has got a boat in Costa Rica. Do you want to come? I'm like, that sounds like a lot of fun, dude. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make the trip. I had other plans, but our good buddy Max McKinley from Max Out Charters, you guys have seen him on the show before. He took my place and they had an amazing trip. You're going to love this. Check it out. Fish on, fish on. Got it? Yep, got it. I just need the clip. Fish on, guys. Oh, no. Woo! Woohoo! Yeah, buddy! Big one, buddy! Oh, oh, no. oh. Yeah, buddy! Oh. Yeah, buddy! Oh. Yeah, oh. buddy. He's coming! Oh. 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 Coming right at us. Oh, yeah. He's digging. Digging deep. We're slowing down. All right, leader. Got it? Yeah. Nice fish. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Big fish, man. I'm just reeling this slack in. Nice. Dude, that fish is insane. How, how big do you think that fish was? Uh, maybe 300. 300? Yeah. 300 pounds. I mean, that's that's awesome. We've been catching them like that all morning. It's like nothing to them out here. But this is uh, this fishery's flat, amazing. We're gonna put some more lines out, start trolling again, and see what we can't catch. Uh, you gotta, you gotta so when I feed it, what do I do? All right, look, how long? You gotta drop it into free, free spool. It, it's already. Uh, the only thing it's got on is the clicker. You gotta take the clicker off with the ear and go pick it. It's done. Take the clicker off. Put your thumb on it. Free spool. Just let it go. Like five, ten seconds? Yeah, we call it Palm Beach Five Count. Palm Beach Five Count. I like right. that. Got another marlin on. Been jumping across here a couple times already. Seems like to be a solid fish. Maybe a black, we don't know yet, but. Kind of chilling on the surface, so we'll see if we get a hey, right more here. jumps out of him. After he went off, he just kind of been chilling on the surface, so he should have a lot of energy beside the boat, so that should make things interesting. Later, come in later. Later. Another another solid fish. Another one, dude. Let's get another. So we've been trolling for a while. Um, it's the middle of the day, it's hot. We're averaging a bite every 45 minutes to an hour now, which is still awesome. But we're just gonna switch it up a little bit until uh, you know we wait for this evening bite to pick up. Uh, we got some teasers out, no live baits, nothing with hooks is out there. Everything is fake. Everything is just meant to bring marlin up to the surface. When the marlin come up to the surface, we have pitch rods ready. We'll pitch a bait back to him and hopefully we'll get a sick eat. There he is, there he is. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right here. He's trying. He's trying to eat the teaser. Same fish. That looks like it's the same fish. Same fish. <laughs> same fish is trying to eat the teaser. <laughs> he's, oh, he popped. Hey, that was awesome. That was awesome. The same fish was trying to eat our teasers, the one that I had on. Wow, the fish is hooked up and he's trying to eat Oh my one. gosh, it doesn't get crazier than that. It doesn't. Feeding them? Is, is this the same fish? I swear. I'm ready whenever ready? you are. I'm ready, guys. Got him? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. He's running. He's jumping. There he is. Yeah, buddy. Is that the same fish? Yeah, it is. We had one teaser in the water, no bait. Unbelievable, unbelievable. He was trying to eat our other teasers, like you guys saw. 
and then he came off, and we were like, oh, whatever, you know, that was awesome. Then he comes back up 30 seconds later and hits another bait. Unreal fishing down here, guys. This is a big fish. It's a big one. Oh, man! Woohoo! Woo yeah! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Coming towards us. He's still higher for sure. <laughs> she was hungry. <laughs> 25 minutes in, and this fish can still pull like this. I'll just say it again. I hooked him, or we hooked him the first time when he came up on our teasers, and he came off after a minute or two, and we thought nothing of it. We were like, okay, you know, whatever, we'll get a shot of the next one soon. Same fish comes up 30 seconds later in the same teaser spread. We pitch a bait to him, and the rest is history. Woohoo! Nice fish. <laughs> That's a good one. Alright, let her go. Let her off. Thank you. Good job, guys. Wow. Guys, that that fish, I mean, we probably had that fish hooked for 20, 30 minutes. It came up the first time, came up, came up in the spread, hit the live bait that we pitched at it, came off, came back 30 seconds later, hit it, hit it again. I mean. I have no words, this place is amazing. Just make sure you guys come down here, check it out, for sure. Nice dog. A big one. Good, still a nice fish though, man. Still a nice fish. Got him, nice shot. <laughs> nice little 12 pounder. Trolling for Marlin here. And uh, we had a mahi take a full-size tuna down, so good-size mahi. That's a beautiful fish. The guys are uh, catching a live bait right now. We already got a bunch in the tuna tubes, as you can see. I I'm gonna show you these tubes. These are actually really, really cool. I've never seen them in person. I've only heard about them. It's actually they have five tubes right here and the high speed pickup is just natural. It comes from the water coming up from the back inside of the tubes. All you gotta do is put baits in there head first and the baits actually swim into the pickup coming from the bottom. So it's perfect because you don't have to fiddle around a live well or anything like that. Just grab them by the tail, pick them up, and they're ready to go. Oh! oh! Nice! Real, 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 real. We've been, you know, <laughs> really working hard today. It's been a little tougher, but uh, we've already lost yeah. a few fish this morning. We lost a big dolphin, you know, but got this one hooked pretty good, it seems. So, knock on wood. Let's land this marlin. Yeah, buddy. Jumping. Still going. Woo! Still going. Big marlin. Start gaining. Still going. <laughs> yeah. Turn that handle. Come on, baby, come on. You're getting them now. Oh, yeah. Leader, leader, leader. Good fish. Dude, that marlin fought real hard. Yeah, he jumped a couple times. He yep. stayed down deep, and we really had to pump him up at that point. So. Uh huh. Well, I think he got foul hooked a little bit, like that, yeah, right, that first one I caught right yesterday. Hey, can't do anything about that, but... Even with circles. Yep. We'll still slip from the mouth and get them somewhere else. So. Exactly. But Big one, though, dude. That's still like... picked up, so... Oh, yeah. Can't argue that. Nice and healthy. Like 350, 400 pounder. Sure. Big marlin, guys. Got another. Oh, yeah. Ah! Nice sailfish on right now. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Big sailfish. Whoa! That's sick. Got it? Yeah, I'm going over you. Can you spit it? No, no. I got it. <laughs> nice sailfish, man. Nice sailfish. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> nice sailfish, man. Nice sailfish. 
<laughs> yeah, buddy. Woo! Got a picture. Quick. Okay, guys. <laughs> well, guys, there you have another awesome sailfish. I mean, the thing was jumping everywhere. Just so acrobatic. These, these sailfish here, they're not eating goggle eyes. They're not eating mullet and pilchers. They're eating tunas, like, you know, bonitas this big. And we have them out trolling for marlin. There's 100 pound sailfish here is, is like nothing. It's average. So that that's awesome fish. Gonna put some lines back out and see if we can get another one. Right there, he ate it! He ate it! it. Woohoo! Alright, we made the run, took the risk, made the run down here a little further south. See if we can get a black and this is our second hit of the day. First one just took the bait off. It's thrashing. Oh, that's epic. Nice fish. <laughs> Henry said it's a big one, it's a big one, guys. All right, back off the drag. Black marlin to the boat. Pop. It's okay, that's caught. It's caught black marlin. Woo, 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 guys. Hey, that's what we came down here for, guys. We made a little run, a little further down south. Nice black marlin, that was our second bite of the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Harry's stoked, I'm stoked. That was awesome, man. So, Harry, you were telling me earlier that back in the day, people didn't even have live wells. That's how this whole thing, you know, skipping baits like this came to life. Can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, it wasn't just live wells. It was mostly the tuna tubes okay. that we have now so that we could keep Benita alive for an extended period of time and fish them as live bait. And my opinion is the live bait is going to produce at a higher rate than the dead baits. However, what you're, this technique you're seeing right here, this is the traditional technique used in this part of the world to catch black marlin. And what you have, you have rigged bonita sewn behind teasers. This rig was used from the 60s on and was the primary way the guys fish down here. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got a really big dolphin on here, guys. We're trolling. We're a mile offshore, I mean. All right, 20, 30 pounds. Yeah! Woo! Nice dolphin, dude. Easy 25, 30 pound dolphin. Just crush that lure, that imperial lure. <laughs> We're just trolling, we're a mile offshore, guys. I mean, it's unbelievable. This fish hit like a freight train. He's jumping all over the place out there. Look how much meat he's getting, dude. Every little bit. This is the difference between fishing back home and fishing here. Back home, we would tell you, you put your fish on ice immediately, get him cooled down so he's easy to fillet and fresh as can be. Right here, we just fillet him right on the boat, go inside and cook him up. We've been eating fresh mahi, tuna, I mean, triple tail, everything you can think of this trip. Every day on the boat, it's it's like paradise. You won't believe it. Got a huge wow. marlin on right now. We're trolling into the inshore spot and just put out some of Alex's lures, Imperium Whoa. Outfitters, baby. Those lures are crushing it. Big fish, very big fish. Coming up, coming up. Coming up, yeah, buddy. Look at him go. Look at him go. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he's coming at us. Oh He's man! Coming, oh man! Woo! <laughs> Big blue! Big blue! Oh, dude, the fish came straight out of the water here. It was uh, jumping at us, it was jumping the side, throwing the lure all around. You just can't beat it, man. It's great. Come on, baby. <laughs> yeah, buddy! That was a good one. Thing is a beast, bro. Thing's an absolute beast. Been on this fish for I think about 20, 30 minutes now here. Yeah. Come up a couple times, going back down. Fish has a little bit of everything. 
We heard them whistling, came running out. Got a 600 pound blue marlin sure on the line. Enough, hooked up on the beluga, man. Oh, dude. Those lures are great. Those lures have been crushing it. This whole trip, those lures have been absolutely crushing it. This fish came on top of the water, deep, it's came back up, it's going back down. The most awesome scenario possible for fighting these marlin. They're giving us such an aerial show out there. Like, it can't beat it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you too. All right. Forward! 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 Alright, you're good. Oh yeah, here it comes, here it comes. <laughs> what a fish! Hold his tail up! That's a good fish there, buddy! Woo! Hey! Yeah, buddy! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't even explain to you guys. It's 20 to 30 marlin boat side, dolphin, tuna, triple tail. I mean, we're eating them fresh as we're fishing for marlin. It's unbelievable. I mean, this, this trip has exceeded my farthest expectations, and I can't say enough good things about this man and how he runs his ship and his crew. It's first class, second to none. The accommodations that they offer here in Golfito, Costa Rica, I mean, even even for families, if you want to come down, you know, not just as a couple guys looking for an awesome fishing trip, but if you want to bring your family, he has a house right there that his wife designed herself. It's amazing. You guys can stay at the house. There's zip lining, jungle excursions for the family. It's it's unreal. So you guys really have to give this place a look for your next, you know, trip of a lifetime. Really, I mean, it, it's a trip of a lifetime. And if you guys want to give Captain Harry a shout for this trip, the link will be in the description for a way to contact him. Other than that, we're, we're headed back to the plane, go to Florida. So don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash that like button. We'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Frog Tongs, designed for you, created for the outdoors, and Sudacore Nutrition.